Hey, what's up, guys? Wow, man. Uh, if I was not holding my phone during this post fight, I would give Rafael dos Santos a standing ovation. So, since I cannot, uh, let me give a salute to Rafael dos Santos, man. What he did to Robert Lawler, man, uh, without a doubt. Uh, was one of the best performances of his, of his career, man. Uh, I'm sitting here trying to decide whether this performance or the fight he had against Pettis when he won the lightweight title. I'm trying to decide which one was the better performance, which one was the more masterful performance. Wow. Um, he, uh, he won this fight on my scorecard. He won... 50-44. I gave him a 10-8 in the last round. Completely dominated the last round. He won every round. Uh, I wish I could give my uh, round-by-round uh, breakdown and notes for the fight, but uh, I had to do the scorecard and notes on my phone. So, uh, you know, I, and I'm doing my, using my phone now to do this video. But, uh, I mean, just completely dominated rival all the man with leg kicks, strikes against the cage, uh, I would be nervous at times for RDA because Rival Law is a heavy hitter. You know, could he land on um, RDA and, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, knock him out? Because, you know, you know, RDA, he got, he got, uh, you know, he got stopped by Jeremy Stevens. He took, um, you know, he, he lost his uh, title via, uh, you know, TKO against uh, Eddie Alvarez because he was on wobbly legs, could not recover. And Rob Lawler is a heavy hitter, man. But, uh, you know, he, he had good enough defense to avoid any heavy shots, uh, any really hurtful shots. In the second round, uh, he had uh, Lawler hurt a bit, and he threw, they said, for 23 uh, unanswered seconds, uh, you know, on Rob Lawler. And uh, DC and Anik were talking about RDA's cardio, like punching himself out. And I'm thinking, like, man, RDA, is a, he is a workout warrior, man, the cardio machine. When have we seen him gas in a fight, you know? Um, so, you know, I, I really was not super concerned about it, man. Um, and uh, it, it, it did not affect the guy, man. It did not affect him at all. He, he just chewed Lawler's leg up, man. Uh, I mean, beat him in every way in this fight, man. Complete domination. Uh, he will be fighting for that title next, there's no doubt about it. No, no doubt about it, man. And uh, I can't wait to see that fight with uh, Willie. I, I was finding myself rooting for RDA in this fight because, um, you know, because he was a smaller man moving up, and, and you know, to a new weight class. Robert Lawler had kind of been there, done that. You know, we, you know, he had his run as the welterweight champion. Uh, he got knocked out in the first round against Woodley. Uh, I would, I would rather see RDA fight uh, Woodley, man. It's a, a fresh matchup. Um, RDA is still prime. He's and he definitely uh, is still pound for pound. Uh, if he, he if he got out of the list when he lost his title, okay, he he, he took a, a defeat to Tony Ferguson. But you know that Tony Ferguson fight, man. You know history will say that he you know he lost a five round decision. But I know in that fight with Tony Ferguson, he was outclassed Tony Ferguson bad in the first round of that fight. And in the second round, he, he suffered eye pokes, and uh, the fight changed, man. You know, uh, you know Ferguson, you know, po I, I can't remember how many times he poked uh, RDA in the eye, but, you know, it, it affected RDA, man. And he'll, RDA still only lost that fight 3-2. I think it was even going into the last round. So, uh, you know, RDA, uh, you know, he definitely is back on my pound, pound list. There's no doubt about it after what he did tonight. You know, 50-44 against uh, Robbie Lawler, man. You know, uh, you know the the bigger man, the more experienced man at, at welterweight. Um, I mean, you know, RDA moving up. I'm telling you, when it comes to RDA, there, it you know, for me personally, uh, off the top of my head, you know, there are three performances, you know, that uh, the signature performances in, in his career. That's this fight tonight against Robbie Lawler when he won the belt against Anthony Pettis, and when he defended the belt for uh, you know the one and only times so successfully. Uh, when he beat uh, Cowboy on Fox, uh, I guess that was uh, what that was the end of uh, 2015. I think December 2015 when he did that. So uh, yeah, man, 
you know, I, and I can't believe it's two years ago at this point, but, you know, when he smoked him in like a minute or whatever it was. But, um, you know, I'll tell you, man, tip my cap, big time salute to RDA, man. A masterful performance, man. Masterful performance. You know, and if, if this guy, uh, if this guy, uh, beats Tyron Woodley, man, and he gets, you know, a say, and I will be pulling for him against Woodley, and I will put money on him to beat Woodley. If he beats Willie and he gets his uh, second uh, title, man, in a different weight class, he's gonna be one of the best of all time, guys. Uh, you know, he to, he's already one of the best lightweights of all time. But if he beats Willie, man, he's gonna be you know pound for pound one of the best to ever do it. He is, man. And uh, you know, I, I hated to see him, you know, split with uh, Rafael Cordero. Uh, I thought that they were one of my favorite, uh, you know, trainer. Uh, fighter duos uh, they had a lot of success together Rafael Cordero turned the man's career around man made him a beast in the striking department uh, now he's working with Perillo who I'm not really high on but uh, you know I, I think uh, RD learned a lot from um, uh, Rafael Cordero man and uh, you know the guys just continue what he learned and uh, got still in his prime man you know still strong still fast uh, still game man so you know, uh, you know, big time uh, props and tipping the cap to RDA, man. Uh, and and let me say this before I forget that the, another damn uh, poll, the public disrespected RDA. It's what, 72, 73% of the uh, Twitter poll or whatever said that Robert Lawler was going to beat RDA. Just like when he fought uh, Cowboy in 2015, he had already beaten Cowboy once. And... They it was like eighty percent of the public said that uh, said that uh, Cowboy was going to be RDA man. I thought it was laughable, and, and and Cowboy had been clowning and bullshitting around leading up to that fight. You know, wakeboarding and doing all this shit. He was not taking the fight serious at all. It seemed, and he went and he got smoked. And uh, once again, the public disrespected RDA, not the betting public because he was a slight betting favorite, but you know, I guess the. People watching at home, people on Twitter, man. Everybody, you know, maybe they just fans of Robert Lawler because of the fights he's giving us. But uh, you know, that was disrespectful again to RDA, man. And he he once again he proved the ass is wrong, man. Got them all sad tonight. So RDA, man, you are the man, brother. You know, hell, one of the best lightweights of all time. Hell, and on you know the track he's going. Hell, he's going to be one of the best of all time, man. You know, he's, he's going up in weight class. And, uh, you know, he's got – he's 3 no at welterweight. You know, I, I think against uh, three top 10 guys. I don't know if uh, Safadine was top 10. He was top 15. Uh, so, you know, he, he is 3 no against, uh, you know, you know, three of the best welterweights in the world, man. You know, hell of a run. Hell of a run for RDA, man. And uh, as far as the rest of this card, man, cannot comment on it too hardcore. I saw Emmett with his left hook KO over Lamas that was sick. And uh, the Ponce Nibio Perry fight, by the way, lost out on my parlay uh, both legs. It was busted from that fight. But, uh, you know, the main event, like I said, you know, it was a risk for this fight going four or five rounds, man. And uh, But uh, Ponce Nibio and Perry, man, you know, I was in and out on that fight. I saw... I think a little bit of the first round, but man, uh, you know, I, I was dead tired, man. I, I went to sleep, I think, on the uh, Cannoneer fight on the uh, the uh, FS1 prelims, and then I woke up uh, a little bit during the period Ponce Nibio fight, and then uh, at the end when the, the, the uh, decision was read, man. So uh, I did not really see that fight, but... I can see that that both men that it, it appeared to be a war with both men had some serious looking damage on them, you know. So, um, you know, sucks that I lost out on uh, you know, that that those plays, but uh, it looked like that was a hell of a fight, and it looked like Glo uh, Glover got a win, uh, a TKO over uh, Misha Serkinov, which I uh, did not see either. I just uh, you know read about it and saw it on Twitter, so. You know, that's it, man. Uh, really not a whole lot left to say, man. Uh, just RDA, big time salute to you, man. Uh, you know, one of the best performances of your career, man. You know, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how old RDA is at, at this point, man. But, 
you know, he I, he's got to be some somewhere in his thirties, I believe, at this point. And uh, he's just put on a masterpiece, guys. A classic, one of the best performances of his career, man. Top three for sure, uh, in my opinion, as far as I as I know and recall from my history with RDA, man. You know, this guy was it, it, at one point he was kind of like a, a middle of the pack kind of like a uh, lightweight. Even Dana has said that uh, he was has been amazed at what this guy has done in his career, man. How he you know, surged up to become lightweight champion, man. And, um, you know, he's going up in weight class and he's beating beating top guys, man, you know, in dominant fashion. So, RDA, salute to you, brother. Uh, <laughs> you're one of the best in the world, man, still. You know, you had a setback with Alvarez, which I hated to see. And, uh, like I said, the Tony Ferguson fight, man, hell, he has my sympathy in that fight because he got, he got poked in the eyes and that fight changed once he got poked, man. First round of that fight, he outclassed Tony bad. So, that's it, guys. Let me know what you thought about this, man. But a masterful performance, 50-44. Uh, honored to watch RD fight tonight, man. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, I will check in soon. Thanks for watching.